Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-34 from RC Hibeller Engineering and Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the pin A and the normal force at the smooth pack B on the member. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram. The point A is pin connected, so we have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. We have a normal force at the smooth tag B. We also have to resolve this force F into its components. So we have a horizontal component and the vertical component. So let's label them. So this is AX, this is AY, this is NB. The horizontal component is F cos theta and the vertical component is F sin theta. We also have to resolve this NB force into its components, but we will do it after the summations of moment about point A because right now in this situation it is much easier to sum the moments about point A. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. My first equation is summation of moments about point A equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of AX and AY is passing through the point A, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point A. So AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A. This ND force is trying to rotate the member in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by ND force will be taken as positive. So NB and the moment arm is this 0.4 meter distance. F cos 30 is trying to rotate the member in clockwise direction above the point A. So the moment produced by F cos 30 will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this vertical distance, which is 0 0.8 sin 30. F sin 30 is also trying to rotate the member in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by F sin 30 will be taken as negative. The negative F sin 30. And the moment arm is this horizontal distance, which is 0 0.8 cos 30. equals to 0. If we substitute the known values, we would have 0 0.4 NB minus F is 600, so 600 cos 30 into 0 0.8 sin 30 minus 600 sin 30 into 0 0.8 cos 30 equals to 0. So upon simplification, we have 0 0.4 and B minus 207.85 minus 207.85 equals to 0. So NB comes out to be 1039. 0.23 newtons. This is our first answer. Now to find the horizontal and the vertical components of reaction at the pin A, we have to resolve this NB force into its components. 
so we have a vertical component and the horizontal component if this angle is 30 degrees the member makes with the horizontal it means that angle is also 30 degrees because they are alternate angles so they are same if this angle is 30 degrees it means that angle is 60 degrees because the normal force is always perpendicular to the contact point and here point B is the contact point. So 30 plus 60 is 90 degrees. So the vertical component of NB force is NB times 60 and the horizontal component is NB cos 60. So if you guys have any questions or any doubts in this free body diagram then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So my second equation of equilibrium is summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have negative ax minus nb plus 60 plus f plus 30 equals to 0. So if we substitute the known values we would have negative ax minus 1039.23 into cos 60 plus f cos 30 f is 600 newtons into cos 30 equals to 0. So ax comes out to be 0 newtons. So this is our second answer. Now for Ay, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Ay minus f sin 30 and f is 600 to 600 sin 30. plus nb sin 60 and nb is 1039.23 sin 60 equals to 0. So upon simplification ay comes out to be negative 600 newtons. And since we are getting a negative answer it means that the direction we had assumed earlier for ay force to be in the vertically upward direction is incorrect. In fact, A y is acting in the downward direction. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about the free body diagram or in the equations of the free medium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.